welcome to Taste Test, and today I'm going to be trying stuff that I have never even seen before, let alone tried. It comes all the way from Sweden, and I got this fabulous little note, and it says, Hi David, Ben and Nina here, fans of your show. Here's a couple of amusingly named Swedish chocolate bars. They are very sweet. Enjoy. Best regards, Ben from England and Nina from Sweden. Well, thank you very much, Ben and Nina. Okay. These are, without doubt, the weirdest named chocolates I've ever seen. I'm just going to show you and we'll go from there. First one we have is Pig All. <laughs> and to be honest, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I, I can't read any of it. There's no English on it whatsoever that I can see. It's all, it appears to be in Swedish and... I don't think I could even come close to pronouncing some of this. So we shall open this one up and have a taste. Oh, here we go. There you go. There's one. So, hmm. Hmm. Okay. See you up there. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what that is. It's milk chocolate on the outside, and there's like rice crisps or something inside it. Hmm. I think the insides are kind of a, a soft nougat type thing, like in a Milky Way or a Mars bar or something. Hmm. It's very nice. But it's very sweet. I like that, actually. That's not too bad. Um... <clears throat> The next two have the same name, but it is without doubt the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Anyone in the mood for a plop? <laughs> plop! I saw that before and I was just like, oh my god. Another one that's entirely in Swedish, and I will now try to butcher the Swedish language by trying to pronounce what it says on the side. Mjölk chocolad med ringland toffee fillinning. I make the worst Swedish person ever. I assume that means that it's chocolate, milk chocolate with some kind of caramel or something on the inside. My Swedish is ludicrously rusty. And by that I mean I don't speak any Swedish at all and I'm making a random guess. Okay, well I shall take a bite. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, it's sweet. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Okay, it's more of a toffee. It's very, very sweet. Mm. It's hard to describe that. It really sticks to your mouth as well. Mm. It's almost like a, a darker sort of version of condensed milk on the inside. It's, it's very, very intense. I like that. Mm. I must say I like the first one better, but that wasn't too bad, actually. Mm. And the final one... If you didn't get enough plop the first time, we've got pink plop. <laughs> now, from the picture, it's hard to tell. It looks like... I don't know what that's supposed to be exactly. I'll read the thingy. Mjölk chocolate filled med toffee med smack. Smack. Av gela holland and halon bitter i vit trifle. I have no idea what that means. I think it's meant to be strawberries or possibly marshmallow. I can't really tell. <laughs> it's... I'm not sure what the hell that is. <laughs> I don't know. But it's got smack in it apparently, so I don't know what that means. So maybe I should be both excited and scared. Alright, shall I take a bite of my plot? <laughs> Oh, okay. Mmm. It's definitely got some kind of fruit in it. I would say probably either strawberry or raspberry. And it's actually sweeter than the last one. Mmm. There's a layer of something in it. I, I can't tell what it is. Weird. Mmm. Hmm, I'm not sure what that is. It's, I'm fairly certain it's raspberry, but, hmm. 
it's, uh, you're very right, Ben and Nina. They, they are very sweet. So, mm. really nice though. And as I said, I've never tried any of those and they are totally unique. I've never seen anything quite like those. So, yeah, not bad all in all. Okay, scores time. Um, I think possibly the winner is going to be the pink plot. I think the pink plot was insanely sweet, but I liked that combination of chocolate and fruit. It's really nice. Um, I probably put the pig all. <laughs> pig all. <laughs> Am I even pronouncing that even remotely close? Um, yeah, pig all will come in second. Um, so, oh, I didn't give any scores, did I? Okay, so pink plop, I'd probably give probably an 8 out of 10. Not bad. Um, the pig all, probably a close 7 out of 10. Mm. Because that wasn't too bad. It's sort of like a Milky Way with crispy bits. And um, I'd probably give the red plop or the milk plop or whatever it is, I'd probably give that a 7 as well. Um, I think the pink plop just beat them both at the punch because it's just not only really sweet, but it's got that lovely sort of fruity flavour to it as well. So that's different and I like that. Well, that's Swedish tasting time <laughs> going quite well, so I, I really enjoyed that, trying something totally different. Thank you very much to Ben and Nina who were so kind to send those over for me. And yeah, thank you very much. And if there's anything weird out there that you think I should try, let me know and see if I can grab a hold of some. All right, guys, talk to you later.